Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys uh, a little bit of what's been uh, messing me up for a little bit. Uh, this problem that I have has been persistent since I got the bike. Um, they're notorious for having fuel issues and wiring issues. When I first bought the, bi the bike, uh, the fuel pump didn't turn on. I found a bad connector, fixed that. I get the bike, I use the bike about a year, two years, everything's good. All of a sudden I'm having fuel issues again. So I look at the bike, I check the bike out, uh, the fuel line blew up inside so I had no fuel, uh, no fuel pressure. I fix that. Um, next thing I know is I fix it, it runs fine, I'm having trouble again. I have a stuck open injector. That was my next issue. I sent the injector in to get repaired, I brought the, to get it uh, re uh, serviced, it comes back, machine runs two minutes, shuts off. By the way, it ran real pretty. Uh, really, it idled really nice once it uh, once it, it it got that injector back in. She idles two minutes, dies. So now I'm mad. I mean, I've been I've been messing around with the Susquehanna. It's an 09 fuel injected, and now I'm mad. And now I wanted clear evidence of what the hell was going on. So I took the fuel pump out, and I decided to work with the fuel pump outside. So come over here. I'm going to show you what my problem is. Um, I did a fuel test on the on the on the bike and my fuel pressure is reading 10 pounds of pressure. As soon as the fuel pump shuts off, it goes down to zero. Um, it shouldn't have 10, 10 pounds of pressure, not with fuel injection systems. We're looking at a minimum of about, about 30 to 40 PSI on this machine, I think. Anyways, I don't have nowhere near that. Um, so I took the pump out and now I wanna see where the pressure is going. So I turned this, uh, I turned my ignition on to get the pump going and check that out. I have all my pressure being lost at the pressure regulator. Okay. So, right. Now I want to make sure that the fuel pump has enough, uh, enough, the capability of creating the pressure that I need. So temporarily, temporarily, I'm going to do what the, uh, the uh, pressure regulator is doing or is supposed to do. I'm going to plug it and make sure that I can create pressure. Um, so like pay, pay attention over here to the fuel, fuel gauge. And I want you to see the fuel pressure get high now. First, first it was at 10. Now let's see what I can make it do. See that? Okay, I can't hold it for a very long time because the fuel pressure stops me. But anyways, this proves to me that the fuel pump is good. My problem here is I have a bad fuel pressure regulator. It's a common, it's a common thing that goes bad on it, but might be my fault. I ran it without a fuel filter because I wanted to get out there and ride. I haven't been... Very, I haven't done all my maintenance as I should on this bike. I've been beating her up because I got her really cheap. But anyways, this is a beautiful bike. It doesn't have much hours of use. And it's definitely going to get a new fuel pump, a new uh, filter, and then a new uh, pickup screen also. So that is my uh, problem that I found on my bike. And hopefully it helps somebody out there that's having troubles with not only just a Husqvarna, but a KTM or any other fuel injected system. If you buy yourself a kit of fuel injection testers, you'll be able to do what I did. Physically see the pressure that you have in your fuel system, and then you can trace it to see where the fuel pressure is being lost at. And uh, just show over here, I want to show my, my tools. I'm not a very dirty person, but I was just a little frustrated and I'm working with a little bit of a, uh, of uh, just threw it on the ground. I was a little mad, show my table. I, I, I usually always work on my table, but my table, I got, a, I got some other stuff on building. So, so yeah, that's it. And that is, uh, that is, uh, it for this video today. I haven't posted here in YouTube for a little while, but, uh, I hope this one helps somebody out there.